Hello dear friends, this is a case of a 50 year old female who presented with a left upper quadrant pain, febrile, raised inflammatory markers and loose tools. The clinical question was possible diverticular disease. So a CT scan of the abdomen was performed. The only serious finding was this. In this region we can see that there is ill-defined regional fat stranding misty mesentery all this area is abnormal additionally we can see some lymph nodes which are enlarged one of them is here this one so there is nodular appearance another one probably is this one with ill-defined borders surrounded by fat stranding so this is a typical case of uh, mesenteric paniculitis or sclerosing mesenteritis. As you can see there are some inflammatory changes extended to the nearby bowel loops. So all these bowel loops are affected. Sclerosing mesenteritis or mesenteric paniculitis is a recognized pathological entity and there is no specific known cause. Uh, some experts believe that uh, the condition could be associated with abdominal, previous abdominal surgery, autoimmune disease or bacterial infection. The symptoms are generalized uh, and non-typical abdominal pain, sometimes vomiting, bloating, diarrhea, fever, and sometimes mimics other pathology like diverticulitis or appendicitis or even perforation. In this case, the problem is chronic. I will show you the images of a CT scan which was performed six years ago almost the same findings there is regional central mesenteric fat stranding with lymphadenopathy some lymph nodes are enlarged like this one this one mesenteric lymph nodes Another lymph node is this. There is possible central necrosis. This is another enlarged lymph node. Something important is that uh, uh, mesenteric paniculitis or sclerosing mesenteritis could uh, be associated with other pathology and most importantly it is uh, worth to note that uh, it could be uh, associated with malignancies multiple malignancies uh, have been associated uh, with this condition like uh, lymphoma lung cancer colonic cancer renal cell carcinoma gastric carcinoma so we have to be alerted to search for any other pathology, particularly any other malignancy in cases like this. Dear friends, thank you for watching this video. See you the next time.